Good morning, chill ladies. My name is Jack Septic and welcome back to the boss. We're just about to kick some ass here in the prison. Um, I actually can't remember what the next step we were about to do is. It's early morning, okay? My head's all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I go into the warden's office? But I want to kill the warden. I did get my hydrospersion key though, so I guess we just need to find a way to actually escape. Oh yeah, I have to talk to Felix. Sup? You know what's up, brother? <laughs> You've got my hydrospersion key. Says you. <laughs> Give it back. And what are you gonna do about it? Oh, I have an idea. Oh my god, do I actually get to fight Felix? Felix Emerged. <laughs> you played Happy Wheels, you played Amnesia. Um, both? Hey, in broad daylight, 20 feet away from the screen. Oh, is this an insult off? Am I supposed to insult him? For six hours before figuring out how to regain health. Uh, this one. Yeah, you big bitch. You played amnesia in broad daylight, 20 feet away from the screen, and you know it's true. Roasted! Burned! Incinerated! Obliterated! Oh, yes! You were really jumpy during PT, and the holes in your ceiling prove it. That was terrible. That was weak. Is that all you have? I didn't even jump out of my chair. I didn't fall out of my chair with an overreaction like you seem to have. Ha! 99 damage. I really feel like that probably shouldn't have hit me for as much as it did. Um, your channel or your fans- No, your channel. Go straight for the good. It's nothing but clickbait and they're not even falling for it. Would sell out for a cheap yo-yo if it paid enough. Oh my god, that is so Felix. Felix would sell out so hard for anything as long as the price was right. <laughs> your channel would sell out <laughs> for a cheap yo-yo, you money-hungry twin. <laughs> so this is like, oh sir, the insult simulator. 41? Your voice cracks so easily, not even super glue can repair it. You prepubescent green highlighter. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm not even green anymore! Son of a bitch! Okay, okay, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Your face or your voice. Um Your voice! Seen as every year you seem to have a new voice. It's so hoarse, you sound like you've been smoking since nursery school. It's so incoherent, incoherent, YouTube captions try to translate it you from Urdu. Maybe that's why you keep getting demonetized, Felix. No one knows what you're saying, so people put in a whole bunch of bullshit, and then YouTube's like, Oh my god! I can't believe he said that! How much is that? 57. These are some weak sauce insults! The first one was good. Your fans find you so boring, you could yell them to sleep, and you wouldn't be here if it weren't true. Okay, the last part doesn't really make any sense, or it doesn't add to any of that, but I have yelled people to sleep. I like to think of it as over-sensory stimulation, where you yell at somebody so much that their brain kind of shuts down because they can't handle it anymore, and then they just get lulled to sleep. Aww. They also made this lovely game for me, though, so suck it. Uh, your family or your dog Edgar? Your dog Edgar could beat you in an IQ test. Has actually read his, his namesake, unlike you. <laughs> oh, because uh, <laughs> he's Edgar Allan Pug. Um, could beat you in an IQ test. Yo, Felix, be so dumb he can't even spell IQ. You son of a barrel! Sixty-nine damage. Oh yeah. Well, you must be a potato because you are what you eat. Don't even eat potatoes all that much, but okay. Well, you're a one duck shy of a- What's going on here? Oh, you know, just having a roast off. That's it. Straight to solitary. Aw, oh, man! But I was about to win! I was about to lay the smack down on him! Oh, perfect. Time to call for help. Again. Hello? So, you need more help? It almost sounds like you don't want to help me. Of course we'll help you, Jack. See, Billy? Jenny's nice. Be more like Jenny. Everybody be more like Jenny. I mean, Jenny is your fan. And you think her being here because she's your fan, that she'd be a little less forgiving. I don't mind. This is fun. Jenny's a nice optimist. I like Jenny. Everyone be more like Jenny. 
See if you can find the right key, okay? The guards usually carry them. I don't think we should knock out more guards. You could ask around, see if you can find another way. Okay. All right, let's go, Billy Jenny. Team Benny. All right. Let's see what douche player's up to. He's still reading books. He's still trying to figure out how to read. That was fun. Got anything else for me to put together? Nope. <laughs> okay. Bye, I guess. <laughs> Let's ask around. Chloe and Max, what, what, what bright ideas do you guys have? Hi, so we need to bust Jack out. Do you know how we could maybe do that? Well, my old roommate stole and collected a bunch of keys. She put them on the table in the lower left cell, but I don't know which is which. My old roommate stole and collected a bunch of keys. She put them on the table in the lower left cell. So... She left a sheet of paper with a weird poem on it. It looks like it has something to do with which key is in which container, but I can't figure it out. Maybe you can. You got the key clues! Press escape your inventory to read it. Okay. No water you see for the office key. The kitchen is said to be hidden in red. Solitary, I fear, is devoid of beer. The flowers bloom farthest from cellular room. So I need the beer one? Take the silver key, yes. But it's a devoid of beer. But I'm just going with... Hey! Why does that bed up there on the top right have like nice pink sheets and the rest of us have all the same sheets? What the hell, man? This looks like Mark's bed. Oh. That would explain it. <laughs> he probably demanded special sheets. Um, solitary was up this way, right? Does that mean Felix is trapped as well? Locked. Please, let me out. I think they'll let you out eventually. Just hold tight. Wait, so did I not get the right key? No? Hmm. Whoa, poo! Wait, maybe I can call Jack again and get get a bit of a... a, a temporary. Max gave us some clues. Yeah, but they're kind of hard to decipher. No water you see, but the office keys on. Flowers bloom flowers. So solitary, I fear, is devoid of beer. The kitchen is said to be hid hidden in red, so the kitchen key is in the red wine. No water you see for the office key. So maybe the office and the solitary key are switched around. The flowers bloom farthest from cellular rooms. Well, you can figure it out on your own, but I think I might have an idea how to solve it. I want to see his hint. We're stumped. Go for it. The office key holder doesn't hold water. The kitchen key is in something red. The beer mug doesn't hold the key to solitary. Okay. The pot of flowers is farthest from the key to the cells. Oh, the pot of flowers is farthest from the key to the cells. So the key to the cells. Solitary cells. And the office key. So I don't need the office key. There we go. It was in the flowers one. So the flower pots have the key furthest from the cells. So, solitary, I guess. You got it! You guys are the best. Are you alright? Yeah, sure. Never matter. Outside of being stuck in my computer, I guess. Well... You were in there for quite a while. I hear Solitary does things to you. Nah, not a problem. Things just bounce off me. I'm like Rover. Squirrel! As I was saying, I'm fine. So after all that, do you think we can actually, you know, get out of here? I think that can be arranged, though. It's getting dark. It's probably time for evening roll call. I'm just gonna leave Felix in Solitary. <laughs> wait, did Felix actually not get out? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he's there. I'm blind. Now, I better not see any more trouble, or you're all going to solitary. I don't even THINK about escaping tonight! We have God set up at the perimeters. Nothing's gonna get past us. So just go to bed. It's gonna be a long, hard time. Dismissed. But I don't wanna. So, are we planning an escape attempt or something? Well, it's br not broad daylight. But I do think we need uh, the cop uniforms. You're in luck. I've got the laundry job and I just snagged a whole bunch of them. I found a prisoner's stash with a shovel in it. 
The only problem is that we don't have the key to the cells. I still have that piece of paper from earlier. Let me see if I can figure out which of these objects holds the cell key. Oh. Uh, items. No water, you see, for the office key. The kitchen is said to be hidden in red. Solitary, I fear, is devoid of beer. And the flowers bloom farthest from cellular rooms. I'm just gonna fucking try shit. I got the key card. That's not it. Still locked. Let's try all of them. Still locked. Got it! It was the brown key! Hey guys! This is so exciting! You're telling me! Okay. You unlock everyone's cells. Chloe, you get the guard uniforms out, and Felix, dig through the floor. Oh, Jesus. They're gonna hear that! <laughs> nice. Let's move out. Officer Jack and his crew of dudes. Oh, wait. We're going this way. Take that, officers. Why is there a hedge maze underneath a prison? Alphys did say games would blend into each other. Still, that's pretty weird. I think we can get out if we wander around enough. Wander! He's the clue! Oh jeez, I'm gonna get lost in here. Oh, there be guards. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Everybody, spread out! Single file! Blow on your whistles whenever you find something! Two toots for utes! I'm just following this. Spooky. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. The boss is nothing. Are you sure it's a coincidence? I'm hoping so. I think we're actually making progress. We're going pretty far for this not to be the direction I'm supposed to be going in. For some reason, I'm getting... Final Fantasy VIII vibes from this game. I have no idea why. I feel like I've seen this before. It's a septic guy, so? Sort of. Never mind, let's keep going. Is somebody putting those down everywhere? Is somebody graffitasing the place? Sans! What are you doing here? Hey, uh, wanna buy some merch? I'm kind of trying to escape from prison. Perfect. Want to buy a lockpick? How did you even get here? That's for me to know and for you not to know. So, lockpick? Thanks, but I think I'll take my chances. So yourself. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sans. Bye. Hey! Is that it? We did it! I'm happy to be out of the maze, so let's not go back. Sweet! But wait, Wireland is different. I'm home! Hey, Nugget's here! And Sally Face! Okay, everyone, I'm gonna change out of my prison clothes. Felix, I know you have all your outfits, so hand them over. Make yourself at home here. Oh, the poster's out in the living room now, good. Okay, let's see the damage so far. Oh, Christ. Hey, Sal! I cannot remember the voice for Sally Face. I'll just do my voice. Hi, Jack! How was Wireland so far? Weird, but it feels like home. Kinda. Maybe because, in a way, I built it myself? Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Well, if you ever need someone to show you around, you know where to find me. Totally know how it feels to be in a new place full of weird people. I suppose you would have a lot of experience with that. Weird people? Really? It's literally your job to get torn to pieces for the amusement of sadists. I mean, okay, yeah, that is weird if we're comparing it to jobs outside of Wireland, but it's pretty standard here. Still, it's an adjustment. You don't meet people like us everywhere you go. How true is that? Another Billy? Oh god, <laughs> that's a sad looking anger Billy. Well, if you didn't want to be, if you didn't want there to be so many of us, why do you inspire your fans by yelling at us so much? Can't argue with that. Shut up, Billy! Which one? All of them! But this Billy is the coolest. Didn't you create a zombie army and then attack me during one million subscriber party? Ah, details. 
Well, still, it's cool to meet the guy whose party I tried to crash. Your game was cool though, so I guess I let you off the hook for that one. Thank you. I think. <laughs> oh. Hey, Billy! It's all the different Billies. What's up, Billy? This is like my worst nightmare come true. Hey, Billy! Hello. Why are there so many versions of Billy here? Maybe because you won't stop ranting and raving about how evil I am. You make it seem like it's my fault. Ori, aww. I wanna go talk to Nugget. Nugget's my favorite. Nugget! Nugget is deeply perturbed. What is it this time, Nugget? The Nugget of Friendship has been engulfed by the flames of disaster. What flames? Literal flames. You have, have you seen the kitchen? Have you not? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want a new Nugget? The Vault of Nuggets has been reduced to ashes. So too have all Nuggets' opportunities for friendship. Alas. The fridge is fine, Nugget. It has been penetrated by flames. All is lost. We could probably get some more at Bosco's. Nuggets' friendship cannot be bought so easily. It, might be, it must be earned through trial. Jack, can we get a move on? Shouldn't you two be best friends considering you both have an unnaturally large vocabulary for your age? Vocabulary does not equal friendship. Enough talking now. Shoot. Oh man, I miss doing Nugget's voice. I need to bring that voice back for other characters just so I can do it more. My god! <laughs> I love this theme that's going on. Every time I go back to the bathroom, it's getting longer and longer. Have I always had this red carpet? Hey Jack and friends. It's Billy, remember? Sorry, kinda new here. But we love it already! Wireland is great, and everyone's pretty welcoming. Most people, anyway. Yeah, just trying to get acquainted with everyone. I played your game months ago. Well, you can't expect us to know everyone's name by now. This place is massive! I bet most game characters don't live in this place. Live in a place this gigantic. Yeah, most people have lives outside of video games. Shut up, Billy. Hey, it's Steve! Steve! I feel like I've seen you before, except that I haven't. It's like you appeared somewhere, maybe in a dream or something? Steve, say away. Okay, I- Steve doesn't have a voice, so... I have a flux capacitor here if you need it. Or just want it. I could use the bites. Tempting, but I'll pass. Shame. We could have gone back in time and avoided this conversation. It's Frisk! Of course Frisk doesn't say anything. They don't talk all that much. One of the drawbacks to being kind of an empty slate character. Ah, sorry about that. They make really good origami, actually. You should see their collection. I think Alphas taught them... Taught them when they got locked in a meat freezer together. They got locked in a meat freezer together? It wasn't plugged in, so they didn't freeze, but yeah. It's kind of a long story. But man, I'd never seen Toriel yell like that. It was actually kind of scary. You're the kid from inside! You're not a blob this time, though. We play kickball together sometimes with Frambo, Monster Kid, and the other Billies. Frisk, Sal, the boys from Limbo, uh, and Last Guardian, and all the kids from Kindergarten. We have a blast! Cool, nice to know you all get along. Who are you? Oh, the guy from Never Ending Nightmare! Oh, there's gonna be a lot of characters that I don't remember because... <laughs> It's, it, there's a lot of games I've played. Also, I, I just noticed now, up on the left, see where it says Sansa's shop, and to the left there's a pile of bones? Up on top of that stuff on the top there, there's a Boba Fett helmet. I never realized that, because somebody gave me one of those. And all the little Undertale figurines, and the little, um, Sans, like, plushie that I got. That's cool, that's attention to detail right there. Ah, oh, there's a little, um, Temmie over there. Your game was really creepy. Well, good, it was supposed to be. And there's a lot of these characters who I haven't given voices to before, or a lot of them that's a really long time ago, so I might not remember the voices for them. But some of them, like Undertale and, like, Night in the Woods, and things like that are just... timeless. So I'll always remember the voices for those guys. Toriel! Um... Give you kind of a, a higher pitch, like, British-y accent, didn't I? Well, hello, Jack. It is lovely to finally meet you. Are you in line to buy something? Oh, no. I am merely helping around the house and shop. Mostly just with keeping things tidy. I guess you don't really have enough time for baking, then. Well, I could always do that while I'm cleaning, but... 
It is best if I delay it until the <coughs> God, something flicked up into my neck. If I delay it until the kitchen is a more suitable state for baking. I should have figured. I love Papyrus and Undyne as if they were my brother and sister, but sometimes... Ah, I must not dwell on the negatives. They are such wonderful people when they are not committing arson. But I am glad that you enjoy my cooking. When the oven has been repaired, I shall bake you one of my favorites. Butterscotch cinnamon pie? Butterscotch? Even better, snail pie. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. I am only joking, dear. I will give key lime pie a try. It is Undyne's favorite, you know. Mine too. Key lime pie is my favorite pie. Uh, the first time I ever had it was at Cheesecake Factory when I was out in... Where was I at the time? I can't remember. Probably a convention. But it was delicious. It is certainly safer than eating limes whole. What a choking hazard. Knowing her, she can handle it. Papyrus had to give her the Heimlich maneuver 30 minutes ago because of a lime. We should probably remind her to chew. And then she can handle it. Um, my Toriel voice I feel changed as well. But that's because I need to give her a more motherly feel. Hey, yeah, like what I did with the place. Do I always have that red carpet? I don't know. I don't live here. So, how do you keep making this place bigger anyway? It's bigger? I didn't notice. So, uh, let's go with something weird like British sci-fi technology. That work? I guess so. It's really cool to meet you, Sans. Oh, hey. Where are you from? Life is strange? Well, that's not an accurate description of my life right now. But I'm a real person. Great. While I've got you here, can I interest you in a subscription to Wireland Weekly? I'll cut you a deal. It's two bytes a month, but I like you, so I'll offer it to you for 25 bytes a year. Sans! Yeah, Tori? Either you in desperate need of a calculator, or you were about to knowingly rip off this nice young lady. Careful, Sans. She's got her serious glasses on. I'm just kidding. What's the point in having a store if you can't have fun with the customers? Oh, actually, I wasn't really interested in subscribing. Sorry. That's alright. The magazine has a bad t case of not existing, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. <laughs> oh, I want to talk to the Tem. That, that sucks. Maybe Temmy will come out later, or maybe I can find a chance of getting to them soon. Oh god, that's not a good sign. Oh, Jesus. What the hell did they do? I will avenge you, Cake! Sweet mother of god. Can't even get over to that side. I can't get anywhere! Let's just go to my room. Maybe they're in there. Has that poster always been on that wall? Hey, Night in the Woods characters! Yes! Are you smoking in my recording room? Yes, and no. This is your room, and I do have a cigarette in my mouth, but I am not smoking. But it's glowing! My cigarettes are all lit. It's the only way... It's the only way they were drawn. Then why do you have it out? Because having it with me makes it easier to tolerate my friends. Wow, harsh. <laughs> but I thought you loved us! I do. That's why I have this cigarette instead of avoiding you at all costs. But Jack, if at any point you do smell smoke, I advise you to check the kitchen. <laughs> or don't, that works too. I just realized that my Angus voice is not the same one as my son's voice. Hey Angus! Hey. How come your sprite doesn't turn to look at me when I talk to you? None of us have a profile sprite. We only ever face forward in our game. I must suck. It's way too easy to sneak up on us. Yeah, that one time I snuck up on Greg, and he turned around and hit me in the face with a fluorescent light bulb like the ones they have at the store, and it looked like I'd been mauled by a bear. At the hospital, we told everyone Freddy did it. You all have a hospital? Surgeon simulator. Cool. These are my favorite bunch of characters in one room together. My favorite voices that I've ever done for any characters are all in one place right now. Hey, Jack. We heard you were here, but we figured it was another one of Sans's pranks. Nope. I'm here. 
in the flesh. Code? Oh! Craig's been really excited to meet you. It's Jack! To be honest, I don't think any of us really thought you'd show up. I said it was impossible. I was wrong. It's so cool to meet you guys. Yeah, we've been catching up. We are always happy to meet brand new characters. Greg and I have really hit it off. You know it. Well, thanks for coming to visit us. Hopefully we're not, like, lame or something. Nah, you're not lame. I liked your game a lot. Flattery will get you everywhere. I always like to think that May is one of those characters that's like, Hey, I'm here, and I'm having a fun time, and it's all gonna be cool. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. That's just because you're easy to please. Yep. <laughs> I love May so much. God, I miss that game. That came out on the Switch recently as well, by the way. Uh, Night in the Woods. Yeah, everyone needs to support those developers in that game. <laughs> Undertale and Night in the Woods, two of the best games for dialogue that I've ever played. Jack! Jack! Is that you? I've been hearing all about you and how you're here! Hey, Greg! Yep, it's me. I feel like me and Greg would get along swimmingly, swimmingly in real life. Oh! Did you hear? It's him! Yes, we heard. Have you come to do crimes with us? Uh, it'll be awesome. Yes, we can finally do all those things our lack of opposable thumbs keep us from doing. Sounds fun, but we did just get out of prison. But we were finally going to take down our robot overlords! Sounds awesome! What will we be doing exactly? Mostly like destroying the automatic checkout at the grocery store. She is stealing all of our money to use for her evil plans to put Donut Wolves out of business. Donut Wolves? I'm fairly certain that is just mindless speculation. So, how are we gonna do it? We aren't. If you want to, you can go back to prison. I have other things to do, and besides, why bother? To become good friends with Greg and May? I am very good friends with them, and I never do crimes with them. Maybe not. But the fires you all said are getting to be very expensive to put out. Those were accidents. I was teaching them how to make spaghetti. Ha! My old family recipe. You mean torching it until it is barely recognizable as past as a family recipe? <laughs> yep. It's the best way to make spaghetti. It's an expensive, uh, it's as expensive as gourmet pasta from past abilities, but twice the fun. Yes, but you get to eat that afterwards. That was a long set of dialogue. Oh, uh, good to- I see you have my hydrospersion key. Thank you. Gr er, May and Alphys kind of have the same voice, but Alphys is a bit more jittery and higher pitched. You're very welcome. It was no problem. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I recognize you, Jack's other companion. Oh, I'm Jenny. Nice to meet you, Alphys. You were always my favorite. You were always my favorite! W wow, really? <laughs> Thanks. So, did you make any progress on that firewall? Well, sorry, Jack, but whoever installed it really knew what they were doing. I can't m make a dent in it. The best I can do is send you for the rest of the keys. So, back to Wireland for the next two keys. I if you don't mind. <laughs> you were gone a really long time. You were gone really long this time. What did you do? You really don't want to know what we went through for this part. Well, I'm glad you are back. And that you brought new friends. Do you know what game she's from, Undyne? Well, I'm not from a game exactly. Whoa, are you another player? Yeah, I love your game. It's one of my favorites. No love for mine, I see. Billy, your game is a meme, okay? People don't say, oh, Happy Wheels is my favorite game of all time. Everyone has their own opinion, Billy. Actually, Alphys, I have a question for you. Well, for all of you, really. How come some of the Wireland residents act exactly like their game counterparts while others don't? It's sort of a combination of canon and whatever life the player gives us. That's cool. So some of them act exactly like their game characters because I haven't given life to them? 
So these guys all have more personality, probably because I've given them more distinct voices, but obviously like Limbo Kid, the guy from Inside, Segway Steve, those guys don't. Billy has more of a character because in the Happy Wheels stuff that I played, Billy was more of a centralized character than some of the others. Of course, you influence canon as much as canon. So, you're that god in the forest? What? No! I'm not a god. Why you give us life? Wait, I got it! Maybe we're all Frankensteins! Actually, Jack is Frankenstein. We're all just monsters. Hello! Wait, if we're monsters, does that mean I can't love Angus anymore? Well, Alphys and Undyne love each other and they're monsters, so you two should be fine. Good save! I was just about to take offense to that, Greg. But moving back to the topic, how do I influence canon? You kind of fill in all the gaps the writers left out, like giving us voices and our little stories. Oh! Is that why Alphys and I sound really similar? Damn it! <laughs> Busted! I always thought it was just because we were separated at birth. We look so much alike. No, it's because my plethora of voices doesn't go very far. <laughs> The May voice is weird. Alphys, I immediately started doing that voice for. Because she kind of sounded like all, um, nervous and jittery and like, oh god. Um, whereas May, the first episode of Night in the Woods, I actually gave May a different voice at the start. And then it developed into what it is now based on the way her personality started to go. So the way her, her personality, like, the way she started talking and how she was going to go run naked through the woods. And just the way I read her lines. Made it seem like she was a bit more scatterbrained than some of the other people. It's like, wow, I want to do that thing. Tacos. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So that's just the way her voice ended up being. And then it, it was after the people were like, that kind of sounds like Alphys. I'm like, damn it, it does sound like the way I did Alphys' voice. And that's why Undyne and Greg kind of sound the same. Greg is just an excitable wolf. So I wanted to give him more of a harsh voice. Like a, a barky kind of voice. And like uh, a wolf's howl kind of voice. So dogs are being rawr, rawr, all the time. So his voice just goes from a bark to a dog. It's cool. And then Undyne is just like an edgy teenager. So I wanted her to sound like like Timmy Turner or something like that. Like, because Timmy Turner's voice is... Oh god, what's her name? Uh, Tara Strong. God, I couldn't think of her name. I'm like, she's one of my favorite voice actresses. It's her her voice doing a teenage boy's voice or a young boy's voice. So I was trying to imitate what her voice was doing a young boy's voice doing an edgy teenage girl's voice kind of thing. Weird. That's just how I came up with them. And B is just um, Raven from uh, Teen Titans. How Raven always kind of talks like this. Yes. I love them more than life itself. But it was just a more raspy version of it. Angus, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm derailing now. Angus's voice was just the way he always kind of looked. He was always expressionless, but he was a bigger dude. Not that he's fat or anything. It's just that bears are naturally bigger creatures. And a bear's roar is like, oh. So his voice kind of came from, oh, like his voice is out here and it would be deeper. And um, yeah. So he doesn't get overly enthused by anything, he's always just kind of the same. Whereas Greg is like all over the place. And then Papyrus just looked like Skeletor, so that's how his voice came about. So that's how I came to the conclusion of all of them. And that wasn't really... I didn't look at them and go, okay, you kind of look like this. It was just what happened in the moment. Papyrus showed up, he looked like Skeletor, I was like, ha ha! And that kind of, yeah, ha ha! So I kind of brought him down a small bit like this. He's not as high pitched. And for some reason, I rolled his R's because I thought it sounded funnier. Like, I want to get my recognition! It made him sound like he was more astute than he thought he was. Like, he thought he was talking a bit more fervently. He thought he was talking a bit more... I don't know what word I'm looking for. He thought he was sounding a bit more posh. A bit more smart than he actually was. Um... Don't know. Kind of weird. I think that that's why their voices stick out a whole lot more than some other voices that give other characters. Because they have... The voices come from the way the characters were written. And this is more of a testament to how 
the people who did Night in the Woods and how Toby Fox wrote Undertale is because the characters themselves had a lot of personality just in the dialogue they had. So it was incredibly easy to give them voices after that because... I don't know, the way they're written really affirms the way I wanted to speak as them. So the way May is written, and the way Greg is written, the way Papyrus is written, it was much easier to put the voices to that than afterwards. Wait, then why do Undyne and I sound alike? I just told you. Repertoire. He's only one man. He can only do so many voices. <laughs> Fortunately, mine is unique. Like a snowflake. No. Well, in rare cases, characters might get enough attention that they sort of gain their own personality. And that's why Billy doesn't have one, because... Another thing with, like, the Sans voice was that... I kind of give him a sup, hey, uh, like a, a, a New Yorker uncle kind of sound. But I ended up not really liking that by the time I finished the series. It was just kind of my go-to for the rest of the series because I didn't know really what else to do. Um, but then I kind of give him this voice, which is Angus's voice, but less of the uh, less of the Patrick Star in it. Because that's just the way his dialogue sounds when he talks. Like in the game, it's... Uh, so I kind of wanted to make him sound like this. Kind of thing, you know? Exactly. Otherwise, the characters d default to canon and nothing else. So, long story short, I'm screwed if I run into any villainous characters from games I didn't give much attention. This is incredibly meta! Because as I was struggling to do some of the voices for some of the characters because they were just generic characters that don't have voices and there's just so many of them, you actually wrote it into the game that that's why I couldn't do it. You guys are on the ball. You guys know how I think. So that, that says a lot to the attention to detail in this game. Oh man, you'd be in serious danger. So please be careful, Jack and Billy and Jenny. There, there's a chance they might r resent you for not giving them attention they wanted. Uh-oh. Evil characters with a grudge? Great. Yep. Excited yet? Please don't die right after meeting us. We already have enough dead people in our game. But if you do die, at least send us back a limb. We promised to poke it with a stick. Well, anyway, here's the hydrospersion key, Alphys. Thanks. I've programmed the front door to lead to the approximate location of the next key. Okie dokie. Come on, team. I am all full of burps. See you later, dudes. That was a fun room to be in. There we go. This music sounds like the, the hotel in Undertale. Oh god, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm definitely screwed. Oh no. Aw, they brought presents. Chances are good that's just a big fancy paperweight for the balloons. A balloon weight? No, better time to say... I got a rock. I mean it. Yeah. Cool. Uh-oh. These tiles are different. Why? God, this place is big. Looks like there's more than one FNAF game in here. Yeah, it's sort of the FNAF universe. It's like Alpha said, they all kind of blended together when you're not playing them. Wait, universe? Oh no, we're in FNAF world. RUN! The worst one of all. Looks a little too dark and grim to be FNAF World. Thank goodness. Oh yeah, the harmless RPG is the one you don't want to be in. Not the horror games with the killer animatronics that stuff you into a suit until your eyeballs fall out. <laughs> exactly. A music box. I have a collection at home. I wonder what this one sounds like. Uh, I wouldn't wind this one up. In these games where this is the, there's a music box, there's an animatronic. Oh, good thinking. Okay, oh, we also have a phone again. I don't need the phone right now. Is there a reason there's fire extinguishers everywhere? Is that a reference that I'm not getting? I wonder if this ever gets used. Probably once a week, too. This place isn't very safety conscious. Why did it even let kids in here, then? There aren't any kids in this game, in the first place. What about the later games? Oh, those kids. Yeah, they're cool, but they don't like hanging around here. Not when the games aren't being played. The kids tend to congregate in turbo dismount. Crash dummies are really funny. And it's not gory, so we're allowed in. 
But yeah, Turbo Dismount, Planet Coaster, even Tabs. This, this, the kind of places that are fun or funny where our parents, if we have them, can leave us for a while. What about the really little ones, like from Among the Sleep or Who's Your Daddy? Oh, Asgore and Tori will run a daycare. Ah, that suits them. Cute. The music in here is awesome. Pay no attention to the little man behind the curtain. Nice reference. There is no man behind the curtain. There may, however, be a homicidal fox. Maybe if we pay no attention to it, it'll leave us alone. Wishful thinking, Jack, but sure. Hey, mannequins. Could have sworn this was a game about animatronics, not mannequins. You're not scared, are you? No. Well, let's bring one back for Mark. Now, that's just cruel. Wait. You're afraid of these too, aren't you? Let's move on. Yeah. It's not so much mannequins. Like, the mannequins themselves don't scare me. I don't walk down the street and go, Ah, mannequins! It's the type of horror that mannequins are used for. Like, the weeping angel type of stuff. Where... You're standing still, like, Condemned, specifically. The first Condemned game had a really good mannequin sequence. Fucking awesome. And... Like, where you're walking down along, and then all of a sudden you turn around. Very Weeping Angel, by the way. Um, I should play the first Condemned at some point. Really good game. And the Fear games were really good. Um, maybe on a live stream or something. Um, but that kind of stuff where you're walking down along and something's like misplaced or in a different place. The more subtle, the better. And if it builds to something bigger than at the end. Though, horror games don't really scare me as much anymore. The more you play them, the less scared you get. Which is why it's always a case of like, if you, like, horror YouTubers, if they keep getting super scared by stuff these days, especially after playing like a billion of the same types of horror games, like, how much of that is exaggeration or entertainment versus how much are you actually scared? Simulacra actually scared me a lot because that was something that was very different. I, d I haven't played, apart from Sarah is Missing, I hadn't played any sort of those jump scary phone games. If, I think... Sarah is Missing was the only one I did play, so Simulacra was very, very new types of scares. And you never knew when the jump scares were going to happen, whereas, like, after two or three FNAF games, you're like, okay, I get it. It's not so much a case of being scared anymore, it's just like, okay, when's it going to happen? Like, oh god, it, it frightened me. It startled me. It didn't scare me. Like, it doesn't linger with you. We never go to the bathroom in this game, so let's check the security booth with the hydrospersion key first. Good call. So I'm gonna check everything anyway. I like that this is actually a FNAF style music. Oh Jesus. Oh god, it's another uh subscriber. I thought you were like a a demon child. Stay back! Stay back! Don't kill me! Whoa, hey, calm down. We're not here to hurt you. I have a frying pan, I'm not afraid to. Are you Jack Septicai? It is you! It is you! It's Jacksepticeye here to rescue me from my certain horrible fate! Uh, I don't know if that's... You do not understand. I am your biggest fan. I'm so honored to meet you. Beyond honored. Happy. Excited. Adjectives I cannot fathom at this happy, happy time. <laughs> it would have been funny if you just said, I'm happy. Excited. Adjectives. <laughs> You're my hero. Literally. Unless I died. Oh well. If I died, that's... Oh no. If I died and I'm eating you, that means you die too. No! Hey, buddy, calm down. You're gonna give your health self a heart attack. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just so excited to finally meet you after all these years. I'm Cliff. Cliff Smedley. Well, hello, Cliff. I think you know me already. This, this here's Billy and Jenny. Billy? That's so funny. You look just like Happy Wheels, Billy. Yeah, so I hear. Are you another subscriber? How did you get here? Well, I was watching Jack's newest video and then... And suddenly I was here. In FNAF with the animatronics and not nearly enough battery power to get through. I didn't see anyone come in. As far as I can tell, they're not programmed to attack anyone going in. It's coming out that's a problem. Because they're programmed to kill anything in the security booth? Of course. Correct mundo. <laughs> Correct mundo, bro! Well... There's four of us now. Maybe we could overpower them? 
Sure, one on one, that won't result in death at all. He's right. That's probably a bad idea. Is there a way we could lure the animatronics away? There is a music box out there. Bobby's, or Baby's, move route leads right to it. If you turn it on, they're supposed to go on stage. Something about it signaling the start of the show. The handbook isn't very clear on that. Oh, Christ. Um, something's at the door, and the power is only at 10%. Okay, we're gonna need to come up with a plan fast. What if we took all the computer parts out of Baby and put some on inside? The animatronics probably wouldn't know the difference. I did find a bunch of programming instructions and protocols for her, but it doesn't matter, I'm too big for the suit. I mean, sprite-wise, you don't really look like it, but... Okay. Well... There is one of us that's kind of the right size. No. There's no other option. I am not dressing up as baby. No way. You want it to be useful? Here's your chance. Yeah, Billy, you can do it. <laughs> I believe in you, Billy. Even though I don't really know you. Fine, but you owe me big time. You all suck. Oh, Billy, no. Ah, oh, Billy. That's where that name came from, by the way. This is gonna be like a... Uh, like... <laughs> Uh, a lore series where I, I, I explain where I came up with all the things I came up with. The first instancing of Billy, from what I can remember, the, the, the time that it became sort of a meme name in the series, I'd probably done it before, Billy is just the most generic name I could think of. And it was always a case of like watching Futurama episodes and like those infomercial videos were like a Troy McClure thing in Simpsons where it's like, I'm Troy McClure and I'm here to tell you all about this generic thing. And then a kid shows up and it's like, wait, wow, Troy, how do I use it? And it's like, I'll tell you, Billy. That was always just the name they gave them. And then in Outlast, I started using that name for all the people I had found dead. I was like, ah, oh, Billy, no. So everyone I found dead, I was just meme that. And then after that, it became the generic name for the kid in Happy Wheels because the kid infomercial types of videos in The Simpsons and Futurama. So that's how his name came to be. The blueprints for the building and Baby's route are on the table. It should be pretty simple to figure out where to go. Oh, I actually have to use him. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello, hello? Well, if you're hearing this, congratulations. You made it through your... Oh, wait. I think the tile the counter's broken. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of nice. Uh, never mind. Well, hey, I just wanted to leave you a message about Baby. Now, you may have seen her in the corner for however long you worked here. Now, don't worry about the wild rumors or stories that possibly disgruntled or, or, or mentally ill ex-employees have been perpetuating. These are not substandard and fact. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Uh, hello? Hello, hello? I thought it was gonna- Ah, oh, crap, sorry. I thought it was gonna keep playing when I got out of it. That's a nice big vent. I think we could crawl through if we wanted to. I hope we don't need to. You've seen the second game, right? Let's hurry this up, shall we? Ah, the one that started it all. Never, never would have thought I'd actually find myself in it. Yeah, cause you're really risking your neck, aren't you? You didn't see what happened earlier. That's a story my grandkids' grandkids are going to hear about. Your grandkids' grandkids are going to be born terrified because of this. Oh gosh, I've wrecked their lives and they're decades away from existing. Are your grandkids' grandkids not going to understand sarcasm either? Billy, you're not going to have grandkids if you don't get out and save us. I can't even have grandkids. I'm a fictional character who's made up out of sprites and lines of coding. And I'm nine. Look who doesn't understand sarcasm now. Okay, guys, be nice. Please, we're all stuck here together. So we really shouldn't bicker. He started it, fucking butt. Not again. Okay, let's move this along. Ooh, cupcake. This cupcake isn't even edible. What is the point? Oh, what a travesty. Well, if it were edible, what flavor do you think the frosting would be? I don't know. I never really think about the flavor of the frosting. I just... I just eat it. It tastes like sugar. 
I think it would be something like strawberry. That's pretty popular. Maybe rhubarb frosting? That'd be different. I do like rhubarb, but I don't know if that would actually taste good on a cupcake. Oh, I've had that. It's really good. Well, I mean, it was sugar-free, so it was kind of tart, but I like the way it because- Okay, can we stop talking about frosting and just move on? Okay, sure. Um, so, okay, I need to go from baby starts here. Bottom left, I need to go to a charge station and the music box. Eight steps, turn, twelve turn, six turn, eleven turn, seven turn, eight turn, and eight steps. What? I can't figure this path out, Fabrice. How is anyone gonna reprogram here? Finn, Finn, did you even count the spaces? Okay, so does any of this actually work? Okay, this is where it starts. So I need to move eight squares, then I have to turn and move twelve. Hopefully I calculated it correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah! So that's why the squares are different. Oh god, there's an animatronic right there. It's Chica. That must be the charging station. I'm on the right track. Shit, what was next? There was another one up top. One. <sighs> Shit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I think I just stepped off the right path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay. No! What? No! 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 This is gonna piss me off. No! What? No! That's a good game over screen. Holy crap! Okay, let's read this. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't listen to that whole thing. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. After twelve, I turn and go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. After six, I turn and go eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. After 11, I turn and do 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, turn and do 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Turn and 8 steps up. Boom, baby! What a relief! Hopefully this keeps him nice and distracted. Yeah! He did it! I think we're safe. That's a relief. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna have to split up. I know, I know. That sounds ridiculous, especially anything horror. When you split up, you die. Just follow me. To look for something called a hydrospersion key. Splitting up alone? With no one else and no help? Alone? Lonely loner? No, Jack's right. We'll cover a lot more ground that way. Where do you need us to go? I, uh, didn't know I was the team leader. Hey, bruh, this is your computer. Fair point. Anyway, I'll check the storage room out there. Cliff, you can check the bathrooms. And Jenny, you can check the kitchen. Sure, Jack. Send the only girl to the kitchen. Smooth. Hey, hold on now, buddy. That has nothing got to do with it. Come to think of it, I'll go to the kitchen then if that makes you happy. There might be cake. <laughs> that works out. I'm diabetic. It's probably not a good idea to even risk the coated cake. Do I still have to check the icky, smelly bathroom? Yes. Well, if you insist. But if you do find cake in the kitchen, you owe me. Understood. It's safe out there now, as long as we don't go near Billy and the animatronics. Let's see. If I were a computer part hiding in the bathroom, where would I hide? Good questo. I don't even know what- well, I don't even want to know what kind of horrors that plunger has seen. Can't say I'm on a roll searching for this computer thingy. Hmm. That one wasn't as good. Thank goodness there was no audience. Ha ha ha! Meta meta! I love it! I love fourth wall breaks! Haha, <laughs> all the searching is really draining. Okay, that one was bad. Pass. Pretty sure I don't need this if I'm stuck in the computer. 
that and I wouldn't want to use this even if I needed to. I don't know if I can handle this stress. What sort of banner that is? What does it have to do with creepy animatronics? Looks like a Danny Sexbang logo. Is it some kind of conspiracy? Is it a hostile takeover I don't know about? Man, where's Matt Pat when you need him? Nice. Let's see. Creepy door hidden in a bathroom stall. To open up or not to open? That is the question. Ah, what the heck? Open it up, but don't die! Am I in a friend bow world? Oh, I am so glad you are here. You came because of Miss Mr. Midnight's missing, didn't you? You're, uh, what now? Mr. Midnight! I cannot find him! Well, ain't that just the pits? I will help you find your Mr. Midnight! There's just one thing I need to know. Yes? Who is Mr. Midnight? He is my kitty, of course. Well, never fear. I, Cliff Smedley, will find your kitty. Or die trying. Cliff, please don't die. Preferably without the dying. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Oh, Franny. Franny, Franny, Bobo. I should help find... I should help Fran find her cat before I go anywhere. Besides, probably haven't explored everything. Can't return to Jack, Billy, or Jenny empty-handed. Oh, you know Billy? Yep. Why, is he a friend of yours? Yes, we are friends. Good friends, in fact. He usually helps me find Mr. Midnight when we are separated. Is he helping you? Yeah, it's really cool to be working with him. Why do you ask? N no reason. You should keep looking for Mr. Midnight. She likes him. She likes him. Oof. Oh, it didn't say oof, it said ooh. Ooh, there's an Easter egg here. You got an Easter egg. An actual Easter egg. There are patient records in here. I respect patient confidentiality, but... It's a computer game. Uh, and it's not like I'm going to tell anyone about these. Charles Dallimore. My gosh, this guy's got schizophrenia. Sociopathy. Delusions of grandeur. And he escaped through the window. So let's hope we don't run into him. It's a safe. Appropriately named... See, appropriately named, seeing as I can't get into it. Whatever's in here is safe. That's why they're called safes. Take the red pill. Oh god, am I about to get red pilled? Oh fuck! Fran is dead. Mr. Midnight, wow. That was super easy. Is Fran alright? I'm afraid we've been separated. She's fine. Maybe you should take one of these yellow pills. She's right here in this room. I'm afraid I cannot. Fran and I have been separated through a dark ritual. Perhaps you can help reunite us. Well, it's never perform- I've never performed a dark ritual before, but I guess there's a first time for everything. There should be an instruction sheet in that old library. Try checking it out. Will do. Is there an eye looking at me? There's an eye. Thankfully, it's devoid of eye egg slicers. But it's still creepy, so I'm looking back away as soon as possible. Oh, jeez. Top of the morning! Top of the morning. Like morning, like dead people. Okay, Sam. I think it's time to save Roo in this scheme do I'm gonna leave this episode here. Making a lot of progress, people. We're getting into some really great stuff. And I, I like that I got to meet the Night in the Woods characters this episode. They're my favorites. Um, as of right now, I'm probably out on tour as you're listening to this or watching this, so... Hi. Um... I don't know why I said hi, but I'm trying to get through this game and prep it for when I'm away on tour. I don't know if I can get through all of it, um, but I'm trying my best as of right now. So if these episodes are a bit spread out, that's why. Um, and if there's no other episodes going up, probably shouldn't be saying this in the episode because people who are watching it a year later when the tour isn't even happening, this won't make any sense. But if you are watching then, hello to you too. Hopefully things are still going a year from now since this episode is uploaded. Um, and the tour went well and all that kind of stuff, but say la vie. What are we, what are we gonna do? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode right now. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And I voice all row. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. Sam, how are you 
getting around this game? Do you got some teleporty powers that I don't know about that could help me? 